It's really important to bring customers along to show them the latest technology. The technology available here surpasses anything that we can show in the UK. Steve, this is, I think, my third year in a row I've been here to Fronton with you. So firstly, thank you for inviting MTD to be here to, to bring this amazing technology uh, across our channels. Um, been a busy day. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good, actually. I mean, you get a real buzz from these, these events. Uh, they're long, they're hard. You know, we've done quite a bit of traveling. Uh, big nights, as you can <laughs> imagine. Um, but it's really exhilarating to see the technology all under one roof. I mean, to kind of set the scene in some way, we, we're, going to, we're going to talk about what's here, the reasons why cust, cust, your customers and prospects from the UK should, should come here. Um, but firstly, it's a, it's a beautiful area, isn't it? I mean, like, going back to basics, I mean, what is it, two hours from Munich Airport, a wonderful run, and, and the backdrop to the place is just tremendous. Yeah, it's stunning. I mean, this year there's, there's not much snow about. I think there was a couple of weeks ago. And it's 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 Winterland. What one <laughs> Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland, thank you. In in the uh, in the snow. But actually outside the snow, which I've never really seen it, it's beautiful. Some stunning scenery, some stunning views looking down on the mountains. Um, brings its own issues because it's very much of a tourist area. So we've got a factory in the middle of a tourist area, we're gonna attract the right level of staff. And we do that very well, actually. Yeah, I mean, very the local well. town, you, you must be one of the biggest employers in the region. Oh, yes. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's a huge factory, again, just to set the scene. I mean, how many machines do you estimate or would you imagine are coming out of here in well, a year? I, well, I, I'm not 100% sure what the, the numbers are, but because you've got various models, various grades. Um, but it's got to be the biggest factory in Europe, the machine tops, and also the biggest showroom. So you can see an awful lot. Um, you know, today we've got machines from all of our factories. And that's what I want to talk about now is, you know, we come here often, I, would, I won't say we take for granted, but we see a lot, a lot of your machinery out and about and, and, and talk about the solutions that you're providing. But for people that don't or haven't been here, why should they be coming here? Why should they get on the plane and come here? What's different to just going to Coventry perhaps to look at the machines there? What can they see? Well, there's a lot of value to be seen here because when the customers come in, we've got two areas. We've got the showroom area, which is quite a significant area. We've got every machine in the showroom, sorry, every machine uh, from every factory. So we've got small sliding head work through to big prismatic, big turning, but we've also got a high level of automation. Automation, not just from loading billets, but also for loading fixtures, loading chucks, loading tooling. Um, and it's really quite complex what we've got. On top of that, we've got all of our DMQP partners here, so our customers can talk about their programming needs, their coolant needs, their tooling needs, and so on and so forth. So it's encompassing a lot of, a lot of uh, activities. We've also got additive. We've also got ultrasonic. We're machining glass over there, you know? So there's not much material we can't machine at. We can machine diamond on that. Really, yeah. So there are so many applications to look at, and when we bring a group of customers here, there's always something for somebody. I mean, it, 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 they call it an open house, but it's an exhibition, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You, you, yeah, there, we are, get, there are smaller exhibitions than yeah, this. Yeah, we run this for two weeks. The first week is predominantly for the, the German community, and the second week is for, for the, the rest of Europe. And the factories see around about 25,000 people come through the doors. Enormous, and it's seamless because you've been in the catering areas. There's no long queues. Gets coffee straight away, as you just seen there. We tidied take, up behind us. Yeah. Take it There'll away. be a glass of wine next. Oh well, that's, <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. But um, I, I, you know, it, the whole place is really run smoothly. Uh, all the all the machines are running with fantastic demonstrations, pushing the limits of the machines to what their capabilities are. Some are dry cutting. Some are physically cutting. And then, of course, you can go into the factory. And see where they're made. And you can see what the quality of our build is. And you can actually get under the covers, watch our technicians building the machines on the line from the 75 monoblock automation line through to the very big machines that are, are hand-built, tailored for individual customers. And I mean, we, there are, there's always a new machine innovation and more than one when you come here. 
one I looked at this morning was the DMF 400, yeah. the traveling column machine. The options available on that, I mean, it's kind of mind blowing. It's there isn't a lot you you can't do. It's a grinding, turning, milling, five axis machining. Yeah, um, it's an awesome bit of kit. Again, you know, different customers, different needs. So we have to tailor it to suit. Much more customization, but you got 4.7 meters of machining area in there. It's huge, and um, capable of either running as a, a single machine or, or as a two unit with a central guard. But um, colossal, and and the options, as you say, and they go all the way through the range yeah. to the smaller and machine. Which incidentally, Paul, uh, within the next few weeks, we're having a small mo model installed in the showroom in Coventry. Okay, yeah. well, that's interesting. So. If, if viewers like what they see on screen, of course they could come to Coventry. Yeah, absolutely. See the, see the smaller version. Um, one of the other features has been the um, the pH cell. Yeah. Uh, and and you've got a few versions uh, in in the showroom. That's a nice bit of kit. And I can see well, you're taking automation, bolting automation almost to any of your machine tools, aren't you? Yeah. The automation is coming from one place, mm. and it's coming from DMG Mori. It's our design. It's our product. We interface it correctly. We know it works. And of course, the pH cell can be adapted to suit various configurations of machines. It's not just limited to, say, a five-axis vertical or a horizontal machine. In this case, we've got it running with one of our turning machines, multi-axis machines. And you can adopt it with robots and build onto the cell as well to put additional equipment on it. So it, it's a pallet system. And, and one of the ones on show is actually it's feeding two machines. So you've got one pH cell feeding, I think, a horizontal five axis and a normal five axis machine. So you're essentially not needing an automation per machine. You've got one that can feed two. Yeah, and of course, in, in certain cases, what you might find is that the, the standard machine, maybe a three or four axis machine is roughing, and then it passes on to the five axis machine for finishing. Mm -hmm. So you've reduced your costs, you know, you are actually going into the MX transformation that we're doing. You're looking at sustainability, you're looking at the environmental side of it as well. We don't need two big five axes there, four axes, then a five axis. Link it with a cell, transfer the part across. And um, automated vehicles as well, I love seeing these because you, you, you can't go many places to see them in action. You've got one here. It's moving pallets around and then the robot's picking the part off the pallet and putting it into the machine. That's, is that? Blue sky thinking, is that a reality in no, our it's industry? A reality, it's a reality. We have we have installations. I haven't got any in the UK at this level, what we've got here, but we've got them installed. And this one is a really smart one because you've got a multi-axis turning machine and the pallets that are being delivered are standard Euro plastic pallets where the component is stacked onto it. And you can do all sorts of things with camera recognition and, and that kind of thing. And in this case, what really I like about it is that not only have you got the pallet stacked up with different jobs, and in this case you've got billets and shafts, but it also talk, it also uh, changes the swoof bit. Swoof is a real problem. I mean, look, if we didn't have coolant and swoof on machines, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> but it's a necessity. If you're making swoof, you're making money. But it fills the chip bin up, and it fills it, it can fill it up very quickly. So that needs to be taken away. So the automated vehicle will come in pick up the small bin, take it away over here, pick a clean one up, put it underneath. A very mundane job that will need to be done at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, and keep the sale going. And the, you mentioned the machining transformation, and one of the, one of the areas of that is, is, is green. This kind of combines itself with the sell-offs control that I've, I've looked at, or the sell -off system that I've looked at. This is a big focus for you as well, isn't it? I mean, in the build-up to this event, we everyone was talking about cutting costs, carbon emissions, and big focus. Yeah, Celos will give you a lot more uh, opportunities to integrate, to interface, and also to feed information back. It'll give you some really good data, quality data, that you can really address your machine shop and your manufacturing process with. Um, and that, and that is the next level. It's very intuitive to use. You know, there's lots of really nice little neat features on it. We carry along with our, uh, our technology cycles, which make life very easy for the customer to put, you know, complex things like gear skiving, um, and polygon turning, all these kind of things that 
can sometimes be a bit tricky to program. We can look after all of that. And the Celos system works in conjunction with either Siemens, uh, Heidenheim, and yeah. also Mitsubishi and uh, Fanuc, and Fanuc, which, which, which yeah. for me, when I looked at that, I mean, so there isn't really a control system that you, you it doesn't work with, is there? I mean, it's no. a, it's a uni very universal application. Again, it gives customers, we've got some customers that are very pro certain manufacturers of controls, they would like to keep it that way, but we've also got commonality. So if we put a cell together that may have a, a five axis machine that's come from Fronton next to a, a turning machine that's come from Eager in, in Japan, um, one will have a Fanuc, one will have a Siemens, although we could do two Siemens controls, but the front face of that, the operational face of that is the same. So it's easy for the operator, easy for the customer. And what I saw as well, um, was I was given a demonstration on how this whole event, all the machines are linked up to uh, the Celos system. And it, they're treating it like it's a factory. Yeah. So you're seeing every machine when it's in action, when it's not in action. And I was given a very detailed overview of how, how beneficial that is to a, to a machine shop because not only can they see when their machine's not running, but they can identify the reasons it's not running. So they can, they can um, you know, basically solve that problem really impressive. Data is king, you know, and the idea is, is to give you all the reasons why that machine's not running. Uh, it's not necessarily about the machine, but also about what's supplied into it. And of course, if you've got automation, you've got to think really smart on that. And this gives you a good assistance to do that. And that can apply, and this would be where I'd probably um, conclude this, Steve, that the people that you bring here, they are a, a completely, you know, range of customers aren't they from very small businesses to larger companies so this is somewhere i suppose it's not about the business size it's about how you think and how you want to innovate your company isn't it well there's a number of things there first of all you're 100 right we bring a whole variety of different people with us they talk they share ideas and they collect ideas and they can sometimes implement it sometimes not Sometimes they realise they're going the wrong way. Sometimes they can, you know, help someone go the right way. And all the customers are extremely polite and helpful and supportive of each other. And then, of course, they come here and, I mean, you would expect to get good compliments, but they are genuinely, wow, this is something else. Yeah. This is something we don't see at exhibitions in the UK, not necessarily see, certainly don't see this level of, automation in the Coventry showroom because we haven't got that size to work with. Um, and it, it, it's a great, great experience. You know, we're up to uh, this week 120 people. Next next year I will take that higher and higher um, because the place can take it. And it's fair to say you're already planning for probably for next year. So for those that are listening or watching this and thinking, God, how do I get on one of those trips? You know, and, Just, and what does yeah. the trip look like? How long are they here for and the logistics? Yeah, we generally do it over a three day period. So it's quite easy. It's a bit of traveling because we come from all parts of the UK, meet up at Munich. We take a, we take a bus down from Munich down to Fronton. By the time you get to Fronton, it's time to just uh, chill out a bit, have a bit of dinner, early up the next morning, into the factory the whole day uh, and then we come back um, the next morning from uh, Fronton back up to Munich on a plane back home again and then we do Monday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Friday. So if we take over as you know Paul we take over a whole hotel so we're looking for more hotel capacity <laughs> next year so we're already talking to the people um, and it really gives people time to stop, think, ask some really deep questions and questions that perhaps they wouldn't ordinarily ask on a one or two hour visit to a, another show. All day here, talking to the experts and they come away with great ideas. Uh, your highlight this week? Oh, you Paul. <laughs> no, I've chucked a bit that you're here because, you know, 120 people out of the many thousands of people that actually need this kind of service in the UK will now see this and they'll have an opportunity to come and talk to us. So yeah, they can talk to the, our business managers. Um, we can arrange the trips. We can, we can do all sorts of things. This week, we've had a couple of customers make their own way. And we just put them in a hotel and for the night and looked after them. Um, 
highlights for me is it's just it's just great. Early on in the year, come to a show like this and see all this equipment around and think, wow, look what I've got. Look what I can supply to the UK manufacturing and look what they can have. And it's fantastic. That's really good, Steve. I mean, my, the highlight for me is to is to be here and be able to witness, you know, technology unfolding at the leading yeah, edge. Yeah. And I think that's that that's a privilege. So thank you and um, hopefully see you in 2024. Yeah. Five. 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 I, I, five. I lost a year. Time go quick. It does. When you enjoy yourself. Thanks, Paul. Love Steve. it.